Hi everybody, it's Abigail Lockwell here and Misty and we are back for a post review. So this uh, post review, uh, I finished it this week, hello, oh, yes, you're going to steal all the limelight now aren't you because you're adorable. So I finished this this week, <sighs> I started this particular project in August of last year and I finally finished it so when did I actually start it on August oh, sorry I'm gonna have to find my thing there we are so I started this on the 11th of August and now I think my other cat wants to come in so double trouble And, okay, midnight's just gone off. Um, just going to turn the camera. There you go. Now we have a midi moon. So this is going to be fun. Misty, you're going to hate me in a minute. But, yeah, this is my... So I'm doing a post review. And the canvas that we're reviewing, this, this is going to be very fun, is Alice Lost. Now, I was asked to review this kit by a subscriber called uh, Emerald Fairy Lights on YouTube. So, uh, I will pop her link to, excuse me, her channel below so you guys can check her out. And, uh, yeah, because she told me about that she'd had issues with drill quality and she wanted me to check it out as well. So, I very happily obliged. So, here we go. Three, two, one. Misty's going to hate me. Look at that and how beautiful she is. Now, I liked working on this kit. I'm going to be honest, this was not one of my favourite kits to work on because of the drill quality. Um, so, sorry, I'm going to move this up because you can't really see the top. Uh, so, yeah, I only added one enhancement of my own, and that was the uh, the uh, eye of the white rabbit. Um, I wanted to try out my sparklers from uh, DP with sparklers, so Tima. And I got uh, her quad cubes. And now Misty is examining the image and is looking very impressed, and now she's just grooming herself. And my cat, my knight, is just at the top of my bed. But no, the drill quality was not the best. And even when I was on Zoom a little while ago with Rachel Ray, and for because uh, I'm her Patreon, I'm a Patreon of hers, and in her top Zoom tier, like I sort of mentioned, I'm you know I'm doing this, and everyone just went, oh no, not those kits. So yeah, drill quality was really the big issue for me. Um, I have a lot of trash. Now I need to find a trash pot because I know it's here. I know I haven't gotten rid of it. Where the hell did I put my trash pot? Seriously, it's on a magnet. Oh, there it is. I'm blind. It was in front of me. So, I'm going to show you the amount of trash I had. Now this the amount of trash I have is a lot for a diamond art club. Normally I do not have this much trash, but okay. even looking at the pot, you can see that's a lot. But no, um I'm gonna bring this in a bit. But no, as you can see, there are, uh, there's a lot of sort of concave, knobbly bits. Um, 
you know, obviously lots of plastic and that was really the main issue I had. But normally I don't have that much with a Diamond Art Club square. I mean, you'll always get trash in in uh, diamond paintings, but this amount of trash is, is, is you know, it's a lot. Um, but no, I, I really like how it turned out. I love, um, sorry, I love her, um, this is going to be interesting, I love her face. She looks, abs she looks absolutely adorable. I mean, her hair, like, so uh, there are ABs sprinkled in her hair. Um, now, I only realised after I looked at the picture that, so obviously you've got the mat, you've got the white rabbit up there, Cheshire Cat's obviously there, but then you've got the little caterpillar poking out of the top of the Mad Hatter's hat, which I thought was absolutely adorable. I mean, some of the sort of minor, small, little details in here were absolutely amazing. And I mean, if the drill quality had matched, it would be amazing. So you've got... Oh, it's misty, I think. This is, this pink thing is meant to be part of a flamingo. So obviously they used that in the crochet, and um, crochet? In the crow case, uh, match with the queen. You've got um, a tie, you've got a pocket watch, which obviously the, uh, the, the uh, white rabbit has when uh, we see him at the beginning of the, the film or the book who's going out, I'm late, I'm late, very important date um, also in her thing you have the key um, you also have a whole load of mushrooms and then she's sitting on the toadstool which of course when we meet the, the um, caterpillar who is sat in the Mad Hatter's hat. Sorry, this is going to go in and out of focus now. Midi's leaving us. She's bored already. Um, yeah, because obviously he says one side of it will make you smaller, the other side will make you bigger. Um, there you go, got some more. Oh, there's one that's popped off. Okay, I, I will be able to find that. But yeah, you have some little hearts and um, the little eat me cake. Um, I'm pretty sure that this in the bottle is supposed to be the drink me bottle, but I think it's sad that they didn't don't have the have it saying drink me or anything. I think they missed a trick with that. And then of course you have the little door which she can't get through. Um, got ABs in her skirt, like the blue ABs. Um, uh, of course you have, as I said, the Oh, only two, okay, yeah, so you've got the Misty. Misty is now holding canvas. Oi, get off. Get off my Diamond Art Club. So, yeah, you've got the, you've obviously got it in the face of the Cheshire Cat. I, I wish that they put some green ones in, but uh, no. So, what I normally do is, Misty, do you mind? See, look, my cat has got my painting. Seriously, this is, I think this is why they say don't work with children or animals, but I don't care, they're my little buddies. I, feel, I think Miss D has claimed that as her diamond painting, which is okay. I can, I can deal with that. I'm just gonna leave that there because I don't think that she's gonna want to let go now. But no, she she has um, like ABs in her hair. Oh, I've also noticed that the uh, Cheshire Cat is holding uh, holding playing cards as well. Okay, right. My sorry, my camera's being a little bit funny. I'm now gonna turn you slightly. Hope you guys don't feel sick at this angle. But yeah. Um, no, I really like how it ended up, but it's really the real big thing that let this down was really the drill quality. And, yeah. You know, uh, I, out of all of them, this is... Misty! Midi! Seriously. 
I think out of all of my diamond art clubs, this is probably one of the worst that I have worked on just because the amount of rubbish drills I've had to deal with, but it's fine. I mean, I kind of knew what I was getting into when sort of Rachel and stuff were saying, you know, was sort of saying, you know, the quality of those kits was really bad. So, uh, Misty, excuse me. So, yeah, I, I had an idea what I was getting myself into, so. But, uh, yeah, I would say definitely um, if you're working on these kits from last year's Black Friday, because I don't think I mentioned this is last year's Black Friday. If you are working on these kits, I would say probably contact Diamond Art Club and try and get uh, replacement drills. Um, I did nearly run out on a few. Because normally what I'll do is when I'm doing stuff like this, I will normally uh, get my spares and, you know, make sure that I've got enough using the spare um, drills that I have. But, yeah, because uh, I was asked to do the drill quality, I obviously don't do that. Now, I did have to cheat a little bit because um, I knocked, I think it was the 700, so a lot of the stuff that's in the trees and stuff, um, I spilled a whole load of that, so I had to use some of the, my drills on that, and also I think I do it with a 310 as well, but I got plenty of 310, so um, I don't think that that was really an issue, but yeah, no. I think I would probably have to say, you know, I would give this a rating, of a of a sort of five out of ten. If I'm knocking by ten, this you know it it was one of the worst I've I've worked on. I think you know um, Mama knows that was that was pretty bad. That but I knew that one was going to be bad. So yeah, I but I I probably yeah so that was prob this is probably the worst I'm in kit I one of the worst diamond paintings I've ever worked on but no apart from that um you know she looks gorgeous I'm glad she's done I think this was definitely a labor of love and I kind of feel relieved that there were other things in the middle like drills and chills because I don't think I would have wanted to continuously work on this but yeah no this is uh definitely my first finish of the year um but no if you did enjoy video please hit the like button consider subscribing it's free and leave a comment if you would like but anyway thanks so much for watching and i will see you guys later bye mm -hmm.